Hello again, everybody. Thanks for giving a few moments of your time. I'm just outside the chippy here, uh, getting a few chips uh, for lunch. So I'm just waiting on those and uh, I think it'll be a few minutes because there's a few wee extra bits and pieces there, some onion rings and uh, a couple of sausages and some goujons. Going to share it with my, a good friend. So uh, I'm just waiting for those. So I'll jump back in the car here and I thought I would just record a wee message for you. I'm thinking about the book of Psalms today, Psalm 56 and verse number 8. It's a Psalm of David. And David says, Thou tellest my wanderings. Put thou my tears into thy bottle. Are they not in thy book? Put thou my tears into thy bottle. Are they not in thy book? You know, David here is absolutely persuaded that the Lord knows all about him. Thou tellest my wanderings. That's just another way of saying, Lord, you know all about the pathway, the journeys, the twists and the turns that I take in life. And he's also aware that God knows all about his tears. Put thou my tears into thy bottle, are they not in thy book? And that's a remarkable verse because it very clearly tells us that God not only takes notice of our tears, but God records them. He stores them, as it were, in his bottle. He records them in his book. Tears are amazing things. They are much more than just a lubricant for the eye. Tears are the expression of the soul in liquid form. More can be said in the falling and the shedding of a few tears than can be said in an avalanche of burning words. Tears are the paintings of the emotions on the canvas of the soul and God knows all about tears. Whenever we see somebody shed tears, we almost immediately have a sense of sympathy and empathy with them because we all shed tears in life. Maybe from our earliest days, whenever we're born into this world, we shed tears. Some tears might be superficial. It might just be the result of a child falling and cutting its knee in the ground. Tears are shed. Some tears are a lot more emotional and deep than that. The tears that are shed of the passing of a loved one. But the wonderful thing is that God takes notice of our tears. The shortest verse in the Bible speaks about the Lord's tears. It says in John eleven thirty five, Jesus wept. And so the Son of God himself was no stranger to tears. The Bible says he was a man of strong crying. He was a man of great emotion. The Bible says when he beheld the city of Jerusalem, he wept over it. And so we know today that the Son of God identifies in his humanity with our tears. And it may be that you're listening to this broadcast and already today you've shed tears. And we're certain that if the Lord spares us, that the tears we have shed are not the last tears that we will shed. Sometimes we shed tears of regret. The Bible says that Peter went out and wept bitterly whenever he denied the Lord, tears of regret. Sometimes we have tears of gladness and tears of rejoicing. But more often than not, our tears are the expression of sadness, of pain and of heartache. But you know, the last time that tears are mentioned in the Bible is in the book of Revelation. Whenever it speaks about the new Jerusalem, it says all tears shall be wiped away from their eyes. The Christian has the wonderful assurance that their tears shed in time was one day sparkle as jewels in God's eternity. And there's a day coming whenever God will honour the tears that his people have shed. And there's coming a day whenever we will shed no more tears. But that's if you're a Christian. On the flip side of that, those who do not know the Lord, tears and time are only the beginning. The Lord Jesus Christ speaks about a lost eternity, an eternity of being separated from God, a place of weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. And what a tragic thing that would be if you were to grow up in this world and live in this world and never come to put your faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ and be lost forever. But on the other hand, if you're a believer, we can be sure that not only does God take notice of her tears, not only does our Saviour identify with her tears, not only are our tears recorded, but God is sympathetic. 
He knows about her tears. He knows about her heartache. And he records them and he will honour those tears. And praise God, there's a day coming whenever all tears shall be wiped away. May God encourage you. May God bless you. Don't want to go on too long because these wee chips might be ready soon. Speak to you soon, friends, and may God bless you. And hopefully see you again next time. Bye-bye.